Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is this is your your host Morgan Reese with Good Morning Black People with Morgan Reese. Good morning, Black people, Morgan Reese, and this is your host Morgan Reese. How are you doing this morning, guys? Wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for joining my show all the way live on this fantastic, fabulous, fruitful, and faithful Friday. I'm here to to happily announce and join me this morning my guest, Miss Tink. Miss Tink was born and raised in Virginia, Richmond, Virginia. She started her podcast, Raw Talent, in the latter end of 2019. This platform gifted everyone that will listen with an opportunity to get raw and real with you in her no judgment zone. Since June 2019, she hosted various opening mics and networking events, holding a roundtable discussion. But guys, but no further ado, I would like to enjoy, to welcome you and welcome my diva, my guest, the lovely Miss Tink. Good morning, morning Miss Tink. Good morning. How are you? I am wonderful. How are you doing on this fabulous party? I'm doing wonderful. Enjoying it. Enjoying thank life. You, thank you. Well, thank you again for the opportunity to join me and to join me in my live debut of Good Morning Black People with, with Morgan Reese. And I am so grateful and honored that you decided to join me. But tell everyone who you are. Don't even listen to me anymore. Tell everyone who you are and what you what you've done and all your amazing, fabulous career and all the things you've accomplished and what you got going on on in 2023. Because in 2023, my slogan today is it's all about me. So in 2023, it's all about you. So Diva, go ahead and take over. (laughs) <laughs> so as she said, I am Miss Tink and I was born and raised in Richmond, Virginia. I started out in 2019 publishing, podcasting, doing open mics and various events around the city. Um, since 2019, I have published 12 books. That's between novels and poetry books. Um, I launched a t-shirt business. I do website creation, flyer creation and print photography, videography, you name it, Tink does it. If I can't do it, I know somebody who can do it. <laughs> if I'm not going to learn it anyway, <laughs> you know. Um, so I also do different, I still do different open mics and different engagements. Um, last year, I did a Stop the Violence rally. I did a women's tea party. And with that, me, my mom, and my grandmother, we're all poets. So we came together and we did three-part poems to represent the causes we even went to philly last year to perform. my hometown <laughs> <laughs> yeah we even went to philly and performed um this year i just plan to hit the ground running and so far i have like i i think i'm booked up until the end of february so far and then i have events spread out across march and april as well um my daughter she's four she started her own podcast the end of last year yes mm. yes ma'am the four-year-old like mother like <laughs> daughter like mother like daughter <laughs> I'm not mad at her, her podcast is called the sidekick kickback with the broke best friend and her and her co-host get on there and they've interviewed somebody once a week they they are hitting the ground running as well so they're keeping me busy because i'm in her dna me. so she got it honestly <laughs> yes, ma'am. so she's she's about to be hosting an autism talent show um and she's gonna be a part of an autism fashion show between march and april as well but speaking of it being about me i am engaged and i'm getting married all the congratulations here thank you (laughs) and i plan on releasing at least two books this year as well so yeah it's it's a lot going on Girlfriend, Diva, <laughs> you are mad busy, and we all only, only in January twenty of two thousand twenty-three, and right. now officially seven oh nine a.m. Your, your your path is already your path is already uh going on. Yeah, twenty twenty-three. It's already been designed. It's already been set for. I am so grateful and proud of you. Oh my gosh! When I get older, I'm gonna be like you. <laughs> <laughs> when I get older, I want to be like you, man. You have an amazing resume, Miss Tink. Oh my Thank gosh. You. And for you to have your daughter to follow in your path and your footsteps, I tell my kids all the time, and even my grandkids, I have three grandkids, and I always tell them, don't be like me, be better than me. Yes. Whatever you put your mind to, whatever you decide you want to do, don't let anyone or anything hold you back and stop you. And Miss Tink, you are setting a perfect example for mothers, for black mothers, for mothers of other cultures that are um not just in the part of the black community to, to teach them to go forward and do what they want to do fulfill their dreams and desires 
and girlfriend, I am I'm honored and blessed to know that you are doing that now in this in this decade where other parents are not knowing and you're providing that footprint. Yeah. You're providing that footprint because I also have a, um, two siblings who are special needs and um, and and I'm their guardian. So I know all about taking care of people who are our unique gifts. I call them our unique gifts. That's Whether right. That's people right. call them flawed. I call them our unique gifts. And you're teaching your daughter to do that. And that's amazing. Amazing. Yeah, so you did say something about you, a poet? Yes. I'm so you know I would like for you to go ahead and grace us with something. Ooh. Come on, you didn't know. I told you this is real. We're doing it all the way live, and yeah, we're, we're, really on the we are going to uh, exhibit and demonstrate and put out your your talents. Because you remember, you're raw talent, Miss Tink. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Let God use you and go ahead and do you, and let's flow. So, being that it's about me, I'm going to do this piece, which is my favorite, and the um, new Mrs. Soon, whatever the last name is going to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm going to do one of my favorite pieces and a piece that everybody really, really loves because it's, it's about you being who you are and owning it and walking in it. And even though other people see it, it's basically saying, like, I know my flaws. Like, you don't have to tell me what my flaws are. Like, my physical <laughs> flaws, you know? From your lips to guys' ears, I say that all the time, Diva. Go ahead and do like, it. Like, don't, don't keep on reminding me. I can't. You don't have to tell me. I already knew what I was from the day from the day I, from the day I was came to this world. Right. <laughs> I don't need a post it note. <laughs> right. Not at all. Not at all. And people think that you need to be reminded. Like, you know. But I, I wrote this piece because. I just felt like, like I said, I, I represent raw talent. And the reason why I started raw talent was because I feel like we don't encompass who we are and walk in it unapologetically. And I feel like we need to because we're individuals. Like it's no more Miss Tinks. I can't be carbon copy. Even having a daughter, she cannot be me. You know what I'm saying? So no duplication is very original on purpose. Right. Right. And there's nothing wrong with being who you are and having your opinions and walking your path. That's so it. the name of this is I'm Just Me. Go ahead, Diva. I'm Just Me, loving me constantly. Question before I start. Can I cuss? You got to say another word in, in the place of it. Okay. So I say sugar, honey, iced tea, stars it's and stripes. Harder, you you making it really well, hard. Like, remember we from up north, so I already know. Yeah, you making it really hard. Okay, because <laughs> we don't want to be. Okay, I'm just me, loving me constantly. Messed up self esteem, esteem of myself, me and myself, me by myself, how I see myself through the eyes of self. But I'm me, thick in the thighs, using jokes to hide the pain that lies behind these beautiful brown eyes. As society tries to call me thick, fat, overweight, tell me when I should eat a piece of cake. A BMI. <laughs> That's a beat right there. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. <laughs> Girl, the, it's, the, the struggle is real. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Both will be on I'm proud of these stretches. Think about face. this that define the journey that I took through motherhood. The roles that show you that my mother could cook. I ate good, but I'm me. Weight being collected in places I didn't ask for it to stay. Comments on my weight doesn't wish the weight away. It constantly reminds me that it's there. But as I meet already, I'm sure that you're well aware that I can see, I can feel. It's a part of me. I'm just me. Loving me constantly. So shy that I stand in front of crowds. Sharing my most inner complex, untangled thoughts, giving insight to topics that make people cringe and flinch. You don't want to discuss that. In raw talent, we will address that. I'm just me, loving me constantly, picked on as an innocent soul, would rather stand out, don't want to stand in. Belonging where you don't think I belong, creating space for me to go beyond existing. For me to be where you never saw me fitting, couldn't imagine me sitting, I'm just me. Loving me constantly, the world is my playground. Creating new lanes for me to cruise around town, being me means stepping out of who you think I should be, walking around how you see me to be, ignoring who you tell me to be, defining who I want to be, deciding how I want to be seen, and standing strong on how you respect me. I'm just me, loving me constantly as I type my name in search engines. Checking my family tree, there's only one me. 
being me means growing my own, adding my different colored leaves and shaking the tree. Me and my legacies would create new lanes, different opportunities. I would teach them to be them while I'm just me. Loving me constantly, standing short but tall, silently loud. I'm black and I'm proud, sexy as I'm me. Dang. Who knew being me would feel so free? I'm just me. Loving me constantly. Judgments never get past the into the acceptance line. The mind that I mind is mine. Stress is not a burden I bear. If I can't fix it, I dwell elsewhere. I'm just me. Loving me constantly. Filled with fields of endless dreams because I'm me. No box is big enough to contain me. No stray jack is strong enough to contain me. They're going to look at me like I'm crazy, but me is who I am. Me is who I'll be. Me is going to succeed. Greater than the greatest flaw that I have, growing no taller than I am, but reaching things you can't even see. Yes, I said it because I'm me. Thank you. Girl, yes, yes. That's, a, that's, a, that's another Jill Scott right there. Fulfilling, Jilly fulfilling. That was freaking amazing. It was on point. It was right on time with the message of 2023 is all about who? Me. 2023 is all about me. And guess what? Miss Tink just read her amazing, awesome poem. It's all about me. Yes. Now, isn't that, look how God works. God does <laughs> that no, time the time when he's supposed to. Yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't use them other words because we don't know who else is watching this. And we don't want right. to get canceled. I just got, I just got started. Got to read the rules and the regulations so I can make sure I follow rules. I'm right. not about that. <laughs> but girlfriend, that was in a powerful, amazing poem. That's a poem to define you. Yes. As I always tell everyone and anyone, you don't like me. That's your problem. That's a you problem. That's not a me problem. Because yeah. last time I checked, you came into my world. Either I, I did not, and I did not invite you. If I invite you, that means you know who I am when you first came into the door. If I did not invite you, that means you came to my world or as a guest. So as a guest in my house and my rules, it goes my way. And if you don't like it, there's the door. You can always walk out and exit. Because guess what? Right. I'm going to be me regardless of. And I'm not changing for anyone because God made us unique individuals on purpose all the time. And he knew what he was doing when he designed us. And we unique individuals on purpose. And so if they don't like us, because guess what? We're all flawed. There's no such thing as anyone's perfect, whether you're big, whether you're small, whether you're, you're, you're tall, whether you're short. We're all unique individuals. And that's what makes us so amazing. And we're God's gifts in his eyes. And that's what I'm saying, girlfriend. It's all about me. Yeah, I'm going to go back and replay this again. I'm going to go ahead and put this as my motto. I'm going to go ahead and do that because Miss Tink, you are definitely true, real, raw talent. I Thank promise you, girl. Y'all guys hear that? I want you guys to go back and listen to this poem and let and apply this to you in 2023. Yes. Apply this to your everyday walk, your everyday life. Anytime anyone come back and say, I ain't listening to you. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you think you better than me. You think you smarter than me. Oh, you doing this, you doing that. Oh, this, this is going to be haters no matter where you go. But guess what? No one's going to stop my shine because I was playing when I, I when I did the little introduction this morning when I was putting you on social media. It's our time, girl. It's my yeah. time by Kelly Price. Look, people going to have obstacles. People going to have roller coaster rides. People going to do whatever they want to deal with and go through what they're going to go through. But guess what? Let no one tear you down because only God brings you up. Let right. no one tear you down. They do use those bricks, those rocks, those walls that they build to climb all over them and mm -hmm. climb up to the top. Right. So use it as stepping stones. Stepping stones. Climb yes. all the way to the top. And in the process, I will say, I've been talking about this a lot lately since the beginning of 2023. Protect your energy. If you have to, you have to be filled as well as you filling other people. Like as a poet, a lot of people um, sometimes look to me to give them inspirational things. But like this morning, you have filled my cup. You know, and I do appreciate that from the bottom of my heart, you know, because a lot of times people think that the strong people don't need to be filled, but we need to be filled so we can fill other people. And I've been my elders and my family been talking to me about it. And I, I even had to tell somebody who leaned on me like she was like, you're just so strong. And I was like, yeah, but 
I need somebody to be strong for me, you know, as well. I say that all the time. Like, I'm not as strong as you think I am. And people always say, you don't look like what you've been through. We read your book. We heard your story. Definitely it's not that. about what I look like. It's what I survived and I came from. I'm not supposed to look like that. Definitely that. Because I, I can actually be a little transparent in that regard, too. Because, um, see, I have diabetes. I have autoimmune deficiency. They think... Um, I have fibromyalgia, possibly, you know, so dealing with all of those. And then I just got allergy tested and found out I'm allergic to 35 environmental allergies. So. Well, living up north, unfortunately, uh, I did that when I was in my early 20s. And I was like, what is, I, okay. And yeah, I moved to the south. <laughs> really, really sick. So the end of 2022, I was mm -hmm. sick like four months in a row really, really bad for like two weeks and couldn't figure out why it was like sinus related and found out that it was just environmental allergies. So mm. every time I walked outside, it started all over again. But it's like with all of those factors, mm. nobody knows when I'm down. Nobody knows, you know, they don't see that because I don't put it out there, you know, so. Sometimes you tell more than you're supposed to. Then they say, oh, you're telling your business. Oh, we got something to talk about it for. Oh, we got something to pick at it for. Oh, we got something to, to, to analyze or or do whatever. I'm telling you because I'm thinking as, I can trust you. As Miss Tink, I don't care. And I would say that because like my autoimmune deficiency is hygienitis suprabitovia. Most people don't know what it is. And the people who deal with it don't get help. Tell us like, what it I, is. I've had it since I was 14. And it's, I know people who, who I've ran into over the past six or seven years who haven't gotten the help that I've gotten. So a lot of times your story helps somebody else. It's therapeutic. So I don't have a problem telling anybody. <laughs> you know, not at all. Can you explain a little bit more in detail what that, that deficiency is? So with hygienitis, um, which is very common, people get boils. So with me, mm -hmm. I can't go the regular route of just letting it pop and go away. Mine's tunnel. So in 2014, I started having surgeries that they told me would cure it, and it did not. I've had seven surgeries since 2014. <laughs> yes, seven, <laughs> seven surgeries. Mm -hmm. And it didn't cure it, though it helped with that particular isolated outbreak. So now I'm on injections that help, but it's still no cure. And every time you talk to a doctor, they tell you like, oh, this is going to help you be in remission and, you know, stuff Make like you that. Make spend more money, basically. But it's not, it's not a hundred percent foolproof. But as soon as I figure it out, I will be telling everybody I know. Guess who's going to figure it out? Guess who got you? God's going to take care of it. God, he, God. Hear you. He, he, didn't, he didn't bring you this far to leave you right now. I've come a lot farther than most people have with it. So, I, I mean, I've really, at first I was like, even even where I am, like a couple of years ago, I've, I've been in this spot that I would be like, oh, dang, like I got to go through this. But I talked to a girl who didn't even have the same path that I had and hers seemed worse because we were in the same, in the same age bracket and we had been dealing with the same amount of time, but I had treatment that she didn't, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I was able to give her nuggets or like I've had a cousin who was diagnosed with it during COVID. So I'm able to coach her through it and tell her what needs to be done without her having to go through everything that I went through. So wow. to me, that's a blessing in itself. By itself. Wow. Wow. You're definitely opening my eyes because the only thing I have is asthma and eczema. I have that too. And um, my <laughs> path of having eczema when I was born was not a good path because I had family members, mainly family, that was... Um, did not have enough knowledge or was scared or confused of who I was as their family member, as their niece, as their daughter, as their grandchild, as their cousin on how to treat me. But look at me now compared to look at me then. I tell people all the time, I've transformed. So everything you use to tear me down, God built it up to make me greater, greater and better. So my flaws and your flaws make you unique and you're still Right. Stronger than whatever people think that, that you are makes yeah. you better, makes you look more beautiful, more yeah. sexier. Come on now. So in being raw as as black people, we need to talk about our family history. Mm. That will help a lot of people because mm. I didn't know I had family members that had my condition mm. that have died. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't know it was that severe until it was severe. You know what I'm saying? So wow. it's important, even with eczema and asthma and stuff like that. Like my son has asthma. I didn't know my food, my environmental allergies. I didn't know that I passed them to my son. Unfortunately, my you do, especially living up north. Um, I was born in Brooklyn, raised in West Philly, and I had asthma all my life. And I had to go do an allergy test. 
And when they did the test, it came back pretty much with everything on the board and more, <laughs> including the that it? was on the floor. <laughs> did you get better with it? I've gotten better with guys based since I moved to the yeah. South because unfortunately up North, you know, the pollutants in the air, pollutants in the air, the, the constant busy traffic, you know, you got unfortunately insects like roaches and rats and things like that, especially if you live in the hood or you're part of the hood, which is where I came from at one time. So those things are there. And because those things are there, you, we're constantly exposed to it. But then when you move to a cleaner air, like I'm learning, some people move down south on purpose. Most people move further than, than where I'm at. I live in North Carolina and Charlotte. Some people move to Florida. Shout out to North Carolina. Yeah, yes. I've been here about six years. And since then, I promise you, blessings on top of blessings, on top of blessings, on top of doors, on top of doors. Boom, and boom. Light, Who would have thought? I'm an author. Who would have thought? I'm a podcaster. Whatever well, else he check me and send me, I'm going, I'm riding. Charlotte, North Carolina, this is where it started, this is where it began. So, I and I still got my roots. I still know where I'm from. So people move to the South a little further because it's cleaner. The yeah, air is clean. It is. And so when you have asthma, like I've had for a long time, I had one, I have two family members, unfortunately, one of them passed away. They both had severe asthma where they were always on a ventilator. Those little, little I, portable I, machines yeah. because their asthma was so severe. Thank God mine wasn't as severe, but if I was stressed, if it was cold, um, if I, I stepped on something or I saw something that I wasn't supposed to, it would react either my my asthma or my eczema. So it was like, dang, this was messing up? Not that one messed up. Now what am I going to do? So yeah. as I gotten older, it, God, I, had, I guess, healing my body where it's not as severe. I have moments, but it's not as bad as it used to be. I mean, when I tell you it used to be bad, it used to be bad. With all three of my pregnancies, with all of my children, I have three adult kids, 32 in April, 30 and 26 in April. I was pregnant with all three of them and my asthma was the worst then because I was pregnant. So I was always at high risk. So as I got older, it just started wearing down and I learned how to maintain and control it. So I tell people, anyone that has had that or had that that don't know, you have to learn how to maintain and control it. Even with eczema, I've yeah. seen people whose skin look like mine's used to. Because I had family members just call me alligator. He's calling me scaly. Oh, that yeah. is me. Because they was didn't they didn't know I had and they didn't understand. They thought I was contagious. Oh yeah, those things. Yeah. Look at me. Who look like an alligator then? <laughs> so anyway, so I see other people that have that skin condition that may not be taking the same medicines or doing the things that I did to get to where I'm at now. And I want to help others because I didn't have no one to help me. I didn't have no one to be positive. Or supportive because i've met other people who had it and i asked those questions i said did your family members treat you like this or did your friends that you thought were friends or were you in school were you bullied and you know what they all said nope i didn't have that i didn't do no that that didn't happen to me so i'm learning from what for from all the flaws and the things that chew me down i'm taking those and building me up and building others up and using those stepping stones to get to another level so as you're sharing your story and your journey don't stop. Don't stop. You're about to be Mrs. Who? Garden. Okay. That that flower in the garden. You are that one flower in his garden. I also saw the nugget that you just posted down below about people ordering my books online. They can also email me because I have on hand copies and I do ship. So you can just email me at Miss Tink at Raw Talent LLC.com and I will ship you a signed copy. There it goes. Again, guys, thank you again. Oh, my gosh. You think you made you. I made your day, honey, girl. You made my day. With that <laughs> form, it came at the right time, on time, in God's time. Because I promise you, this week, the devil was busy. Them, all them negative energies was throwing at me. Bam, bam. Hit me. I'm dodging. I'm going to have to do my mixtape so, um, so that you can, so you can hear it mm -hmm. and play it back. I will. I definitely will. I'm going to add that to my playlist and I'm going to add it to my Spotify. Guys, thank you again, Miss Tink, the amazing raw diva, the, t the raw talent diva, the one with the hostess with the mostest. Check out her show at rawtalent.com, Miss Tink at rawtalent.com. You can send her emails. Please reach out to her at Miss Tink at rawtalentllc.com. That's Ms. M Z T I N K at raw. <laughs> talent llc.com the amazing new mrs garden garden coming soon to your airways to your yes. stage to yes. your show to bring her all her bring you all her talent raw real down to the nitty-gritty no judgment no no questions no hesitation 
Be you. Don't let anyone else tell you you can't be you because guess what? 2023 is all about who? Me. <laughs> 2023 is all about me, Miss Morgan Reese. And guys, thank y'all again for joining our show and checking in and streaming live. Share with your friends, your family, your mom, your dad, your uncle, your grandparents, your cousins, everyone and anyone all over the world is going to watch us. Thank you, Gary. Again, Miss Tink, I look forward to for you coming back on my show. We'll talk later. Have a good rest of your day. Please be safe. Have an amazing, fantastic, fabulous Friday. Happy Amen. Friday. Yes. And, we will talk soon. and thank you again. Thank you guys for checking in on Good Morning Black People with Morgan Reese. I am your host, Morgan Reese. And stay tuned for our next episode next week. Have an amazing day, guys. Happy Friday. I'm Morgan Reese, inviting you to tune in weekly for some empowering, enlightening, and embracing conversations to kickstart your day on Good Morning Black People.